hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you so much for watching thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you all so very much i appreciate you all welcome 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 um this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some is not and the fair act uses in my description box y'all so let's get to it, y'all. Happy Sunday. All that good stuff, y'all. I hope everybody is having a great day. Um, <sighs> this is something that just popped up, y'all. Okay? Now, of course, it says February 25th, 2022. There was arrest made, okay? Um, suspect charge after man was hit up and, you know, taken out at a Memphis hotel, y'all. Now... The thing of this is, which is very odd to me, and I have to send a shout out to um, Southern Smoke TV. I, I have to send a shout out to him. Okay. Um, this is some weird mess going on, y'all. It's called Down South TV. No, Southern Smoke TV. Okay, that's right. That's right. Now, um, uh, first I want to say this. Um, I'm a little bit confused about this whole thing, but at the same time, that's why I got all my Memphis people in here for, okay? And my Dallas people, okay? Now, this happened the same day that Dolph was taken out, y'all, okay? What they are reporting on right now, what he was arrested for, okay? So, we're going to get to the, you know, the whole story that they posted okay it says memphis tennessee a man is charged with the demise after another man was hit hit up at a memphis hotel okay y'all on november the 17th same day Dolph was taken out 2021 police responded to a room at a motel 6 on e brooks road for a hidden call okay y'all According to an affidavit, police found a man in the bed who was who had been hit up, okay, y'all? He was later pronounced demise. His demise was ruled a homicide, okay, y'all? According to the police, he was last seen alive going into the room with a man known as J.M. Later identified as John Michael Glenn, y'all. 29 years old now, okay? Police developed Glenn as a suspect and the man wanted in the victim's demise, okay? So he went in this hotel with this guy. And then later they found this guy in the bed, hit up, okay, y'all? So he just been arrested, the one that was going in the room with him, okay? Now, Later that morning, a man told police the motel room was one of two he had paid for the day before. Okay, y'all, this is getting juicy, okay? So this guy rented two rooms, okay? He went in a room with one guy, and then later on they found this guy, the mask, okay, in the bed, Okay. He said a man he knew as Jay Gotti came to the room with someone named J.M. According to the affidavit, he said men he knew as Chino T.J. and a C.O. were also in the room, y'all. This is really getting crazy, okay? The man told police he heard, you know, you know, a boom when he went to the bathroom. This is getting weird, y'all. Even the names is tripping me out. The CEOs and the guides and the this and the that, okay, y'all? The man told police he heard, you know, the boom when he went to the bathroom. According to the police, the man said he saw GM standing beside the victim's body. With, you know, a toy in his hand. He said, J.M., y'all, this John guy, okay, calmly left 
as if nothing had happened. On February the 18th, Glenn was identified in a photo lineup. He's charged with first degree demise. This is what the records is showing. Okay? Now, this is not the kicker. Okay, y'all? They're saying, you know, this guy was arrested with a PRE shirt on. Okay? Is he a member of PRE, y'all? I've never heard anybody named Glenn. John Glenn. I have not heard of him being a member of PRE. I have not. Now, I could be wrong. Y'all let me know if I'm wrong. But he had a PRE hoodie on. Okay? Now, why would he, the night before Adolph was taken out, rent two rooms? Two rooms he put in his name. That was kind of stupid. I got to go back to that because that just can't be true, y'all. This is crazy. This is odd, y'all. Something is seriously a brewing, okay? Um, the fact that he even had a PRE sweater on, hoodie on, that this is like blowing my mind right now. And then he rented a room to, you know, the night before. This is what they're saying. Police developed Glenn as a suspect and the man wanted in the victim's demise. So, John Michael Glenn has on a PRE shirt. He rented a room later that morning. This is what it says. A man told police the motel room was one of two he had paid for the day before. So is he saying he paid for the rooms or is he saying that the John guy paid for the rooms? He said a man he knows as Jay Gotti came to the room with the man. According to the affidavit. Chino. Who is Chino, y'all? TJ and CEO were also in the room. Who is Chino? And I done heard this TJ before. Y'all, we got to find out what's going on. Because this seems like it's connected to this Dolph mess. Okay? The, the fact that this guy on a he has on a PRE shirt. He was arrested in a PRE shirt. What's going on? And who is Jay Gotti, y'all? Who is Jay Gotti? Because this is weird. Jay Gotti. Now, they're saying Jay Gotti is a rapper. Now, is this the same person? I don't know. But they are saying somebody named Jay Gotti. Oh, wait a minute, y'all. This is really getting weird. This is getting really weird. Okay, I'm just looking at some names right now because this is crazy to me. Jay Gotti. I'm going to put it in Memphis because it happened in Memphis. So let's see if anything comes up under Jay Gotti. Now we got Yo Gotti coming up. Not nothing under Jay Gotti. Okay. But it's saying CEOs and all of this stuff was there. So it has to be somebody in the music industry. Now let's look up Chino y'all. Chino. Because something is weird about this. Chino. Okay, I'm not looking, pulling up anything on no Chino. So what is this story about, y'all? Let me check YouTube, y'all. Let me check YouTube. I, I'm, I'm on my nosy thing right now. Because something is not... 
And this guy is just arrested with a PRE shirt off. Who is this guy? Chino. Chino. We're going to look him up on YouTube. See who Chino is. Okay. Every time I look up like these guys, it's like pulling up like Spanish guys or something. Hispanics. Chino. Okay, let's try um TJ, y'all. Let's try TJ. Okay. Just stretching. Lil TJ. Okay, so somebody named Lil Ch Lil TJ is pulling up, but that's saying New York. Look like New York. So what's really going on now, y'all? I I'm 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 a little bit confused right now because um I'm trying to figure out who these guys are. Who is, you know, this giant guy that just popped up? It does not surprise me because, you know, everything that you know, does has to do with Young Dolph case and Mo3 cases. Similar names keep popping up. Um, there were three Johns or four in Mo3's case. So it does not surprise me. But something is a brewing, okay? Due to the fact that, you know, somebody rented a room, two rooms the day before. Or later that day. It says later that day. That morning. So November the 17th. There was a hidden in a hotel room. With somebody. That this giant guy walked in there with. He left out. The other guy didn't. Okay. And this guy was just arrested. February 25th. 2022. And he had a PRE shirt on y'all. So, what's really going on, okay? Y'all help me figure this one out because this is this is odd right here. These names I have not heard of. Jay Gotti, don't know who that is. Then it says Chino, TJ, CEO. They were all in the room too. So, is it to be expected that they're most likely looking for these other two guys because... I mean, they're possibly witnesses or something like that to what, what took place on the same day that Dolph was taken out, y'all. So, y'all, let me know if y'all heard about it or, or know about it. It could be, you know, breaking news because it just was posted. Nobody else is posting about it. But it seems to be important, y'all. It really does. It seems to be something very important that went down. This stuff seemed like it was so premeditated, y'all. I was just putting together another video, and I'm still working on that one as well. Um, So, that's going to be my next video. But just talking about the people that could be behind this whole thing and this whole mess. So, let me get to this next video, y'all. But I wanted to just throw this in there and let you all see that, you know, this guy. You know, they're not showing his whole, you know, hoodie right here. But... On other pictures, you see the PRE that he was arrested in the PRE hoodie. Okay, y'all? Yeah. Let me get some other video. Okay, y'all? So, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks so much for watching, y'all. Peace.